What's up, comic and pop culture fans? This is James with Mint Hunter Comics, and I just did a trade, but I need your opinion. Did I do good? Was I a big dum-dum? I'm gonna let you see what I got, and at the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you what I actually traded it all for. I traded it for one book, and I got about seven. So I'm gonna start you off with kind of the stuff that was thrown in. Oh, before we do that, please consider liking and subscribing. If you haven't already, it goes a long way. In the comments down below, I want to let you know what are one of the better trades that you felt that you did. Let me know, and let's get it started here with the stuff that was kind of thrown in. So the trade was mainly for three books, and then I have another set here that was kind of tossed in. So this is one of the tossed in books. It's an Aquaman 54, not particularly a key, but it is a little bit of Silver Age Aquaman. Is that a 12 or 15 center? Okay, so by this point, it was a 15 center, 15 cent book. Uh, gorgeous cover. Everybody knows that Aquaman run had some of the best covers. So as it being tossed in, it's not so bad, right? We're looking at 30 bucks for that book. The grade's about a 7.0 which for the tossed in books is the highest of the lot. Next up, we have Batman 187. This was another one of the books that got tossed in almost to sweeten the deal. Um, it's a little rough. It, uh, it's about a 3.5. Interestingly, it is one of the ones from the 150 to 200 range that I am actually missing. Um, 3.5, I think. I would say that's pretty fair. Now, this book, it's probably got about a $15 value, I would say. It does have its problems, but at the end of the day, it is a 60s Batman book. At least I think that's 60s. Yeah, it has to be. What, 67, maybe? Who knows? Um, 60s Batman book. Not the best shape. Probably 15 bucks. Next up, for the Tolston books, there is Batman 188. This one's a little on the nicer side, probably about a 4.5. This 188, um, like I said, I don't think it's quite a 5. It's probably dancing around that mid to low, uh, 4 or 5 tops. Uh, that's about a $25 book right there. Not bad. It's interesting to see how the values start to climb once you get out of the threes for that Silver Age Batman stuff. And last but not least, Batman 219 into the 15 cent. Here we go. Uh, this one's probably about a 4.5 or 5, or five, right in that mid-range as well. Um, and uh, that's about a $20 book. So we got a 30, 15, 25, and a $20 book tossed in, which wasn't even part of the deal. So we got to factor that in. That might sweeten things a bit. Let's keep it going, though. The next most valuable book had to be the Tales of... To astonish, excuse me, astonishing tales featuring Deathlock. This is the first appearance of Deathlock, uh, the Demolisher. And I'm looking at this book. What's interesting is I actually marked that it was probably about a five. It actually could be higher, maybe a five five. Um, raw value. If I did nothing to it, it's probably got a one hundred and fifty dollar price tag to it. If it if I look at it closely and it looks a little bit better, yeah, that would go up. But I'm, I'd say pretty safely we're looking at 150 bucks for this book. First appearance of Deathlock is kind of a weird one. You don't see it all too often. Uh, when you do, oftentimes you see it in that kind of mid-grade, sometimes even low-grade. That is a really great book. Um, I almost included it on my top underrated Marvel book video that I did a little while, while back. That's a really good one, and um, that would look really nice in anyone's collection. So I know that those do move. That's one of the good things that I considered with this trade is people do want that first appearance. It's a solid one for sure. So uh, let's hit you with the second one. This is Amazing Spider-Man issue 119. It's considered a classic cover, uh, Spidey versus the Hulk. Uh, this one's a little nicer. I thought that it was about a 7-0. Which, to my surprise, similar Rawls actually is a $210 book. So, that helps. Unfortunately, I don't really get to enjoy that book so much. I really picked that one up more for my buddy. We've been trying to complete his ASM run for the longest time. 
We're down pretty much to just like one to a hundred, but there's a few stragglers in the 100 up range that he didn't have. This was one of them. He now has it. So unfortunately I, I took a little $210 bath on that one, but it's all part of it and it makes me happy to do it. So it's a, it's a good thing. And uh, once he completes his collection, hopefully in the next uh, few years, although we're doing a patient attempt at it, uh, that'll definitely be a cool video because that'll be the full run of ASM, which ironically I also collect, but I already have that book. And the main thing, the one that caught my eye and I've been kind of obsessed with the video game related comic books lately. I think that this one's horrendously underrated. Um, we have got Blip One. That's the first appearance of Mario and Donkey Kong in comics psh, across the board. Now, nine eights are crazy valuable. This, um, I was told it was going to be like a nine two, nine four. In getting it, it looks to me a little bit more like an eight five to a nine. Now that slight distinction actually does change things a little bit uh, because a 9294 is notably more valuable than an 85 to a 9. With an 85 to a 9, you're probably it's probably worth about let's just call it a 90 because I think it can get a 90. It's about a $300 book. If I put in the time to get it pressed and graded and everything and it gets a 9.0, maybe a 9.2 it's a $400 book. It doesn't boost it up that much. It pretty much gets me what I put back into it. Uh, so I think this is a $300 raw. But if it does get a 9.4 or certainly even higher, that's when you start to see the numbers really go up for that book. Um, unfortunately, I just don't think I can get it. So tallying everything up, the value I've got on everything here sits at about 750 bucks. When you look at the blip, the ASM, the Astonishing Tales, the throw-ins, uh, and it's a good thing I got those throw-ins. I think without the throw-ins, this really would have would have hurt. We're looking at 750 bucks. Now the book I traded was a Green Lantern 7, which is the first appearance of Sinestro. It was a CGC 4.5 which has about a value of, right now, it's at $700. So if I've got $750 in, and I sold a $700 book for it, I should be doing good. Yes, I, I think so. The only thing is I kind of wanted to get the blip rated and really see about uh, getting it uh, even higher. But I think I might want to keep it where it is. I think at best it's probably a 9.2 on the highest end where it almost doesn't make sense. It's almost better to just keep it raw and try to sell it for 300, maybe 320 bucks. So all in all, I think it was right exactly a fair trade for both parties involved. That's my perception of this. I don't regret it at all. I think it was a good trade. I'm happy to have a blip one in my collection, even if I am going to keep it raw, uh, which I was looking to maybe do a little bit better with it. But I'm, I'm happy. Um, so I want you guys to let me know in the comments, do you think I was dumb? Do you think Green Lantern 7 is going to climb in value? It's a big, major villain appearance. Was I stupid for this? Or... Did I really cash in and, you know, you think that book's going to go even lower? And I got some really nice books out of it. I tend to think that it's the second that I got some really nice books out of it. And you don't see me unhappy. I'm a happy dude. So let me know how I did. I am curious to see what you guys think. I don't do trades too often, but uh, in the new year, I might be open to it. Most of the books that I have... I'm just going to try to sell. I'm going to try to make a website and everything in the new year and sell books rather than trade. But sometimes there's a blip one and I really want it. So it happens. I'm, I'm never closing my doors to the possibility of doing trades. I just prefer money at the moment. So as always, guys, keep trading, keep reading, keep selling, keep buying and keep on hunting.